Yeah, so what I'll do, I'll just read the article if that's possible, uh, Alex. It's um, only a short article. A Swedish green politician named uh, Roy Hagberg, it's actually Pernilla Hagberg, has recently expressed concern about aerosol pollution that has been littering the skies at a growing weight uh, over the last several years. Last week she told, now this is the first time a politician in a, in a party, in a major pa party in Europe has come out and this is what we've been waiting for. Uh, anything could happen from here, it could snowball. Um, last week she told the Swedish publication Katrina Holmes Courier that the CIA and the US Security Authority, NSA, are working together with the Swedish government to cover the skies with aerosol emissions which she called chemtrails. That is unprecedented. She also told the reporter that these streams contain a dangerous mix of chemicals, viruses and heavy metals such as aluminum, aluminium that affect weather. Due to the total lack of information or available research on the backgrounds and plans of these spraying initiatives, it has been difficult to really pin down a motive for the establishment to be doing this. Uh, there are many different possibilities, from intentionally poisoning the population to weather control to other geoengineering efforts. That's the intel um, Intel Hub saying that. The excuse has been put forward, goes into why Bill Gates has been talking about the environment and global warming and saving us all, etc. Now, Hagberg believes that this is a weather modification scheme designed to control markets and prices or even put countries at a disadvantage or in danger. Personally, I think it could go either way. So in this article, the um, article writer um, put some thoughts in. It is great to see a politician bringing public attention to this issue and helping add to the credibility of this cause in the mainstream. Uh, Hagberg even said herself in the sourced interview that her local government is working with foreign governments and covert organisations. So with that being said, it is going to be impossible to use the mechanism of government to solve this problem. And then he talks about the Fed. But... Um, so, uh, but in the actual article herself, what she says is, um, and obviously they're trying to poo-poo her already, uh, in the original article that came out in one of the original articles from Afton Bladet in Stockholm, uh, politicians, headline, politicians, CIA injects toxins over Sweden, chemicals, viruses and heavy metals, sprayed out over Sweden by the CIA and government. Uh, it was in Thursday's uh, Katrina Holmes Courier as politician Hagberg went out with his thesis, which by all established researchers dismissed. All established researchers, who were they? Dismissed as mere conspiracy theories. <laughs> Roy Hadberg had been in the picture, had seen a picture in the newspaper under the caption envisage aircraft exhaust or condensate. But according to her, Will Streaks, from so-called chemtrails poisoned, which she emitted by aircraft, aircraft to control the weather. It is one of the biggest phenomena that exists in Sweden right now. Um, these streams contain a lot of chemical viruses and heavy metals, such as aluminium, that affect the weather. She believes the CIA and uh, NSA is behind the emissions. Um, it, it, it is very nice for a power of organisation to be able to control the weather, control it for its own purposes. Um, and this is what it says. What also the Swedish government may be involved. She said, what I have heard, there is a government decision that approves chemtrails over Sweden. She's talking about a government decision that approves chemtrails over Sweden. This is off the scale. Uh, hats off to, to Magdeburg, uh, uh, to Hagberg. Uh, it's the first time a politician has spoken out. Now, what I've done is I've created a Facebook group on YouTube. I don't normally join groups or create groups, but on Facebook, sorry, there's um, a link for, it's called GSOC, uh, Go Sweden Against Chemtrails, and you join the group, and you send this lady an email, and you support her, and you write to the Swedish government, you write to the Green Party with masses of support. And when I finally did get hold of her, she had received... Uh, an absolute mountain of emails of support from all around the world, sky, sky watchers like ourselves that have been screaming 
like a banshee for years and it all just roll into her email box and she is absolute she says she's a, I got a reply she's absolutely uh, overwhelmed she thinks it's magic uh, she's so happy that everyone's supporting her and to be honest uh, this woman is in danger, let's face it, we know the score. So by sending lots of emails to this woman, and I'm not affiliated with any party or any ideology, a green or otherwise, um, she needs uh, protection and support from the public now. And I, I, I've sent an email to the Prime Minister, etc. of Sweden. And um, so go to the Facebook group, uh, Go Sweden Against Chemtrails, uh, GSOC, <laughs> There's like a little slant on Insoc from George Orwell. And it's incredible that this woman has come out and spoken. And um, I'm interviewing her tomorrow in a pre-recorded interview. Her English is not great, but we're going to muck through on Skype. And hopefully I'll be able to put that on YouTube or something. And it's incredible. And typically the article talks about... Um, she said... Um, when asked what you would specifically do to stop the chemtrails, she said, to begin with, we need to get engineers on the aircraft to stop putting in these containers. It's all about daring to ignore their fears. She's talking about containers. Um, but uh, Hagberg do not get much support from the meteorological sources. Um, it's the Meteorological Society is the Swedish Meteorological and Hydrological Institute uh, she's not getting much support from them. Um, she f and another one at the SMHI, that's the Swedish Meteorological and Hydrological Institute, said, uh, This I think definitely not. I find it very difficult to believe that anyone could manipulate the weather like that, says Annette Levin at this institute. And, stri and here's her simple explanation. From the, from the Meteorological Institute... And streaks that appear in the sky when a jet passes by has a simple explanation, she says. When you burn kerosene, you get out small particles. If you're flying in sufficiently humid air as dew drops on these particles known as, known as K streaks, uh, sorry, K streaks or trails, sometimes they stay for a long time and sometimes they disappear quickly. Everything depends on the humidity, etc., etc. Absolute rubbish. So they've tried to poo-poo it already and finished it off with... Uh, a bit of many eco ecologists have rejected the theories by Hagberg. Uh, there is enough in reality to work with the environment. You do not to, you, you do not find on the follies, said Gudrun Lindvall, group leader of the Green Party. So people in her own party are saying, uh, 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 taking the normal line that it's a conspiracy theory. There's no evidence, etc., etc. And then under a, a red headline that says facts, facts, conspiracy thrives online. Uh, chemtrail is a popular conspiracy theory that abounds on the net. The theory is based on chemical and biological poisons sprayed from air, airplanes, at, uh, it's actually aircraft, at high altitudes. Many followers of the theory argue that conspiracy by authorities, governments and security services are behind emissions. <laughs> well, they're right about that bit. So, um, there is no scientific evidence that uh, the theory of chemtrails, inverted commas, are correct. So here we are. Uh, I just wanted to come on and say join the Facebook group and send it's it, it's it's really important that you send uh, the Swedish government emails supporting her. Uh, now anything could happen. Anything could happen here. Now Sweden is a particularly a particularly um, environmental uh, aware country. They're very very proud of that. They take it very seriously the environment more so than most countries in Europe. Now if this gets out any further and it's gone viral the the, the magazine the, the small magazine that published it is getting it got 21,000 hits and is getting several hundred per hour this has the potential to it's on air crap already it has the potential to go absolutely humongously viral now if the Swedish government if the Swedish newspapers or the Swedish media or people on the internet in Sweden suddenly start looking up on mass this could be the critical mass we've been waiting for so thank you for allowing me to share that with you. And go to Free Truth Show on YouTube. And I'm giving a talk in Portsmouth on the 20th of October. You can check that out on my Free Truth Show uh, Facebook channel. And um, that's it really. Thank you to Mr. Max Bliss on YouTube for this chemtrail poison van.
um, for pointing this out and making the original video. And, 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 and thank you to Terry Lawton, who also made it out on, um, made it onto South East Radio, a mainstream radio station in Ireland. And that went out live. And also thank you to the Kent Freedom Movement for getting an article in the Kent newspaper, the largest local newspaper in England, with the title, Do Our Clouds Have a Sinister Lining? with three articles on a full page. Campaigners fear secret experiments are taking place above our heads. So we're building up momentum. It's squeezing into the mainstream. And thank you to everyone who, uh, thank you to everyone who's, who's, who's been screaming like a banshee all these years because it's beginning to pay off. Here we go. Hello, Werner. 